Let's talk about proofreading. I hate proofreading. Oh, so do I. It's so boring. It's futile. Like that time you got in trouble for misspelling the word slit, even though you had read your paper who knows how many times. That happens because your brain has this really annoying autocorrect function. It sees what it expects to see. I'm going to give you three easy tips you can use to start catching those typos. Tip number one, I need my space. Give your paper some space. Get it away from you for a while, several days if possible, if you're a procrastinator, at least several hours. Why does this work? Well, if your brain sees what it expects to see, you want your brain to have a chance to forget what's in your paper. Let the memory dribble out of your ear. So when you go back to read, your brain isn't quite sure what to expect. You'll catch those typos. Tip number two, read your paper out loud. Recite it like an actor. Say, Laurence Olivier, maybe I'm dating myself, but no matter. The reason this works is that when you're reading your paper out loud, if there's a typo, your tongue will trip and fall, probably sprain its ankle, but hey, you get an A on the paper. Tip number three. Proofreaders love to call this tip torture. Maybe that's why I like it, but it works. Read the paper from down up and backwards. So if you normally read from left to right, read from right to left. Again, this works because the brain doesn't know what to expect. The paper's out of context. It's like it's reading Vulcan and those typos jump out at you and give you a bloody nose. So recap. One, I need my space. Two, read your paper out loud. And three, torture yourself by reading it down, up, and backwards. For more easy tips, check out my book, The Little Guide to Not Being Dumb, here on Kindle, here in paperback, and for daily learning goodness, like my face, ah, here it is, my Facebook page. <laughs>